It is a spectacular day in the Pocono Mountains. The fans are filing into their seats, and we are just about ready to get things going here. I've got a weak spot here at this place, but uh, it seems as though when you're fast enough, you can kind of overcome that weak spot. And there's certainly some strengths to this place for me as well, too, that, that I've kind of been able to pick up on the last couple of years. Kyle Busch failed inspection. They will be starting deep in the field. Starting 28th, you know, we just knew that we'd have to bite our time and, and kind of be mindful of the, the early laps and take care of our stuff. 50, your first segment. Smart, take care of it. Nap up. Ready, go, go. Couple of Toyotas up front, seeing the green flag. We're underway at Pocono Raceway. Starting in the back is never fun, but uh, it was pretty quick work to get into the top 10. And once you get in the top 10, it's a kind of a regular race from there. So good work. P10, lap 19. That's right. Had a schedule here. Pocono's a tricky place. It takes a guy that really has a good feel to uh, to pinpoint what he needs and what he's lacking. And, you know, we unloaded this weekend and, and didn't really have it. Kyle Busch brings the M&M's Caramel Toyota in. He has raced forward after starting back in the field. After the first couple of pit stops, we kept making adjustments to our car, kept making it better. And that was helping us get more and more speed throughout the day. Absolutely better. Need to turn a little bit more with the front. Chase Elliott with plenty of breathing room. He's going to win for the second time this year, a stage. P4 there. Stage number two. Kevin Harvick to the inside, completes the pass, and for the first time of the afternoon, it's Kevin Harvick. That'll go to the top of the leaderboard. We knew coming into the weekend that the four was going to be uh, one of the cars to beat. We knew that we needed to try to get off base from them somehow and try to get off strategy from them if we were going to beat them. It didn't make any sense for us to stay out there, finish second in a stage, not get any bonus points, and then not be able to leapfrog them with strategy and get more spots ahead of them. So we just came to pit road and, and played it a different route. Kyle Busch, the first one in. Four tires for Kyle Busch. Harvick heads down to the start-finish line and will score his 10th stage win of the season. This will be open. Staying out here. Green flag goes in the air. 55 laps to go here at Pocono. On the inside, Kyle Busch. On the outside, William Byron. On the restart that we had with the 24 car, um, I thought I was going to be able to get the lead because he was on older tires than we were. The 20 pushed the 24 out there, and they both got to 1 2. And I was in third, and I was like, well, that didn't work very well. Jones got loose off of two, gave me an opportunity to get by him. Battle for the lead. Kyle Busch to the inside of William Byron at the entrance to the tunnel turn. Kyle Busch goes to the lead. Now an outside wall in the tunnel. It's going to be a yellow, 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 yellow. It's breaks right, the road's open. Five, four, three, two, one, here. It's going to be four tires for Kyle Busch. It's going to be four tires for Kevin Harvick. Kyle Busch gets off first. It's going to take whole tank finisher, but the save anytime you have the opportunity. Kevin Harvick has damage to the left rear. The four car had some damage on pit road and had to pit again right here. Boy, he's going to start in the back of the field. The guy who is the fastest car all day is out of the picture. Everybody's going to be pushing harder and thinking that they can steal a victory. Thankfully, when we were out front, we had the track position. I can control the restart. This is about to get crazy here as they approach the start finish line, looking for the green flag. It's in the air. Kyle Busch on the outside, Torres on the inside, Casey Kane outside, right behind Kyle. At the front of the pack, they are elbow to elbow. Trouble in turn two off the racetrack and pounding the wall is Bubba Wallace. He hit a ton, so be aware for debris there. We're going to overtime here at Pocono. Green white checker. Switch is where you need. Starts on you. In the overtime with two laps to go, the green flag goes back in the air. Teammates side by side. I spun my tires. Daniel got a really good launch on me. So we were kind of three wide going off into turn one, and I was like, oh, please let this not be a JGR pileup. And now it's three wide. Suarez gets stuck in the middle. To the inside comes there and jumps. That allowed Kyle Bush to get away. He was able to just kind of scoot around the outside and get clear of those guys. Single down now, eight to Daniel. Just hit your marks. White flag, come back no matter what. Running these races here at Pocono, there's just so many things that can happen. This is one of the most uh, agonizing races as a crew chief for me. Kyle Busch scores the win at Pocono Raceway, his 49th career victory. Now, go to Pocono. Sleep at Pocono, boy. Woo-hoo! Proud of you, buddy. Learned a lot this weekend. Get your heads again. Great work, guys.
Getting win number 49 and, and tying Tony Stewart means a lot. It's neat to now be able to score as many wins as he did. As we continue to climb the ladder and wins, I mean, there's a lot of well-respected and champions of our sport that have won so many times, and I'm looking forward to uh, many more wins, hopefully, and never letting down our guard on being able to score more.